Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Sephora Favorites Swipe of Color Lip Set and the Sephora Favorites Sparkling Clean Set. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favorite, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. Each set retails for $36 on Sephora's website. We're first going to start off with the Swipe of Color Kit and then we'll move on to the Sparkly Clean Set. I do want to read a little bit about this set on Sephora's website. A set of lipstick and lip balms in perfect holiday shades, including full-size lip products from NARS, Huda Beauty, and Summer Fridays, and deluxe minis from Yves Saint Laurent and Clinique. Find your perfect holiday lip with this five-piece curated collection of best-selling lipsticks and lip balms in different formulas and finishes. Swipe on pigmented color with our favorite lip products from NARS, Huda Beauty, and Yves Saint Laurent. Or add a sheer shiny lip with Summer Fridays or Clinique's Viral Almost Lipstick in the shade Black Honey. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. You get three full-size products and two deluxe size in this set. At the top of the packaging, it says Sephora Favorites, and then down at the bottom, you have the barcode. When you flip it over on the back, you have a little description about this kit and then you have the list of ingredients there are two little pieces of tape one is at the top and the other tape is at the bottom so I just pulled that apart and here's what all the products you get inside looks like the first product is a full-size lip balm from summer Fridays Here's a closer look on what the Lip Butter Balm looks like. It's in the shade Vanilla Beige. Really cute packaging. I love that it comes in a squeezy tube. Here's what the back looks like. It says it's vegan and then you have the list of ingredients. You get 0.5 ounces or 15 grams of product. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what this looks like. Here's what the applicator looks like. That's a really pretty shade. It does have a vanilla scent to it. It smells really good. The full size of this lip balm retails for $22 on Sephora's website. It says a silky vegan balm that hydrates and suits parched lips in seconds. Dryness and dullness. Highlighted ingredients, shea and muramuro seed butters, natural moisturizers that soothe, relieve, and condition parched lips. Vegan waxes soften and boost shine all day with a smooth, never greasy texture. Natural vanilla flavor takes your senses on a sweet little gateway. Sounds amazing. Let's go ahead and apply the lip product. It does feel very soft and moisturizing on my lips. One thing I do want to point out is that the applicator is made out of silicone. It feels very nice and soft. Well, I think it's silicone. It's not like that plasticky. The next product is a full-size lip liner from Huda Beauty in the shade Honey Beige. Really pretty shade. Here's what the lip liner looks like. Really smooth. The lip liner is retractable. Look at that. How cool is that? So you don't have to sharpen it. That's amazing. Let's see how much product we get. Here's how much product comes in the lip liner. Let's see what the shade in Honey Beige looks like applied on the lips. I'm gonna line my lips and fill it in. I honestly thought this would not suit my skin tone. The full size lip liner retails for $19 on Sephora's website and it's currently out of stock. So this must be a Sephora favorite for sure. I wanna read a little bit about this lip pencil. It says a matte lip pencil with a retractable tip and ultra glide formula that effortlessly defines your lips. The Lip Contour 2.0 automatic matte lip pencil is a highly pigmented lip pencil with a velvet matte finish that's transfer proof, waterproof and long lasting up to nine hours to be exact. It's enriched with a nourishing complex of soybean and liquor rice to naturally plump your pout while keeping it creamy and comfortable. That's super interesting. I do want to do a kiss test on the back of my hand just to see if the transfer proof claim is accurate. I guess it's not completely transfer proof, but you can still see some of the lip product. Still see the lip color on my lips. The next lip product is from YSL. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like on the YSL lipstick. It is a reflective packaging. On the bottom, you have the shade name. This is shade number 70. Here's how much product comes inside of the lipstick. The shade number is number 70. 
Here's what that looks like. I'm looking at Sephora's new rewards and it looks like the same shade in number 70 is a 100 point perk. Number 70 is called Le Nude. It's described as a basic nude shade. I can't place a price point on this lipstick because they don't sell the deluxe sizes. They only have it for 100 points. I mean, a dollar equals one point. Based on Sephora's website, it says a rich creamy lipstick that delivers incredible color payoff and feels hydrating and breathable on the lips. It says the satin lipstick covers up to six hours of ultra rich full coverage lip color in just one stroke. I definitely agree with that statement. I love YSL lipsticks. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. This shade is a little bit too pinky for my liking. It does have that YSL perfumey scent to this lipstick. It smells very luxurious. The next lip product is by Clinique. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Clinique on the bottom, and then on the other side you have the barcode. Down at the bottom you have the shade name. This shade is called Black Honey. Here's how much product comes in the tube. Not a lot of product for a deluxe size. The YSL lipstick definitely comes with more product versus the Clinique. Here's what the shade in Black Honey looks like. This is called their Almost Lipstick. And again, Sephora does not sell a deluxe size sample of the shade in Black Honey. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. I don't understand the hype behind this lipstick shade. It's just an okay shade in my opinion. A little bit about this lipstick. It says a universally flattering ultra light lip balm in an iconic shade that anyone can wear because it creates a one of a kind lip look on everyone. Not quite a gloss, not quite a lipstick, but more like a balm. This transparent balm fuses with the natural tone of your lips to create a lip look that's unique to you. The sheer emollient rich formula glides on for easy layering. I guess maybe that's why it was hyped up on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. I heard about this viral lip balm and I was like, like, what's the fuss? Maybe that's why there's a lot of hype behind this lipstick because it looks different on each skin tone. The last lip product in this collection is by NARS. This is called their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Cruella. Cruella is described as a scarlet red shade. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. I actually like this scarlet red shade in Cruella. It's really beautiful. The full size of this lip pencil retails for $27 on Sephora's website. It does state a cult favorite matte lip pencil that delivers the impact of a matte lipstick with the convenience of a pencil. Saturate lips with the rich, vivid pigments and velvety matte finish. This non-drying, long-lasting formula is enriched with vitamin E and emollients for a creamy texture. The versatile lip pencil can be paired with other lip products for an added dimension or use as a tinted base. The formula is matte, it will show lines and texture. As you can see, my lip is peeling a little bit so you can see that and it does show a little bit of my line. If you would purchase these three products individually, you would spend $68, not including the two deluxe size products. $36, I definitely think the set is a great price point. It says here it's a $93 value. I'm not sure why Sephora says it's a $93 value. That would mean that these two deluxe size products are $25. If you divide that into two, that means each lip product is $25. $12.50, which I don't think a deluxe size product would be $12.50. I'm just guesstimating. I don't like that Sephora pushes up the price like it's a $94 value. $93 value. Well, on their website, it says it's a $95 value. On the actual box itself, it says it's a $93 value. I have no idea who's right, but all in all, these products are great products and it's definitely worth the $36. I'm gonna hold off in reviewing the Sparkly Clean Set. I already have blush and mascara on, and this kit has a blush and a mascara that I definitely wanna try on camera with you guys. And I also got in the Sephora Favorites Must Have Set as well. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel, ring the notification bell, that way you don't miss an upload. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.